No, not that fucking ugly ass. No. Okay, well, um, didn't want to do this in the first episode of the season because I, the season predictions, I don't want my intros to be too long. So I'm going to do it here. Let's rank the seasons. So far, I've seen four seasons. Definitely season four is going to be at the bottom. It's, it's number four. And what's weird about that is character development-wise, it's fucking brilliant. And it, any season of BoJack's better than almost any season of anything else. You know, so, like, don't get me wrong. Don't get this twisted. I'm not saying season four sucks. We're comparing it to each other. Somebody's got to be at the bottom, man. I don't do ties, right? I don't do zeros, and I don't do ties. So somebody's got to be at the bottom. You got to shit or get off the pot. So, yeah, there were some brilliant fucking episodes like that. Just the episode where we find out that uh, Holly Hawkins is, is Bojack's sister, half-sister. Fucking brilliant. The second episode of the season is fucking brilliant. There's some brilliant episodes. But as far as the yucks go, uh, this is a comedy, man. It's not just a character study. It's comedy. Season four is at the bottom. All right. So um, season three is going to have to be at the three spot. You know what? I just realized this is ranking. This is what's going to happen. Yeah, season one is number one, season two is number two, season three is number three, and season four is number four. Which is not how you want it to go. You don't want the series, you don't want each season to get worse than the others, right? It's supposed to go the other direction. Supernatural, the first six seasons, each season is better than the next. Season one's at the bottom, then season two is second worst, season three third worst, season four, you know what I'm saying? Like each season is better than the last. You know, maybe season five and six are debatable about where you put them, depending on the day. Maybe I'd put season six a little bit below season five, but, like, each season was better than the last. And then you had to dread in season seven. <laughs> that stopped that trend dead in its tracks. <laughs> but, point is, you don't need season to be getting worse, but kind of like by my rankings, that's what happened. Which is weird. And I mentioned this before, somebody asked me, I think it was Wolf, was talking about, look, how the fuck are you going to put season one first? It's because of the novelty. I bet if I go back and rewatch it, it won't be as good to me. But the novelty, the world building, just just everything. The jokes were fucking flying. It was, shit was hilarious, man. So hopefully season five is going to be better than fucking something that happened after season one. So Because like, that's boring. Ranking them like in the order they came out, but in inverse order essentially is boring, man. I'm not trying to be boring. So in the effort of not being boring, let's go and get into this shit. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Very troubling. Why don't you want for just stay in the ocean? Look, I'm not about segregation, but goddamn, just stay in the fucking ocean. Like, you literally can't breathe the air. Divorce isn't a failure. I've been divorced. Divorce is not a failure. Not getting divorced when you should be getting divorced is a failure. You are a failure if that happens. <laughs> this random fucking... I bet that's really him, too. He's a whore. Words from my website. There are words on the website. Yeah, the she's about to come, isn't she? <laughs> That's right, run over this motherfucker. He's a very troubling okay, mouse. Okay, I'll write something while I'm here. Feed the beast, the content beast. Parents oh no, we don't want. No, not her fucking parents. No, you These assholes. With an accurate regional dialect. I know that. Man. But I mean, what is our background? Why do I look different? Fuck from this the other dude, kids? man. Uh, nice diet, douchebag. He is the one who died, right? History at Tufts and all. Oh, nice, Daddy. That's my Jesus, job. Jesus, what an asshole. I wouldn't ask you to have a period on yeah, your day off. Yeah, fuck him. What? <laughs> Let's have no more of those flashbacks. And so many faces that look like your face. Ah, I like all these doi. fucking animals. Like, what is that fucking I, I, I red thing? Snake ass know. motherfucker. Okay. I don't be trusting snakes. Because sometimes to find yourself. You need to get as far away from the world you know. Coming through, hot sex, movie lingo. <laughs> Watch you be shooting something here. <laughs> oh, exciting! Some American filmmakers are shooting a movie starring Laura Linney. Laura Linney, please don't have her on here. Hopefully, that was just a name drop. Ah, yes. So high, number two. So high. Thank you. So hey, high. Hey, don't type with your tongue. This is fucking disgusting. Just nice to take a number vacation. two sucked, didn't it? And forget about everything you left behind. I'm Peter Sagal. The hell is that a brontosaurus? Hello. Well, you have to let me fetch you from the airport. Oh, yep, that's okay. That's a ticket. You don't want to deal with the traffic. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not still paying your phone bill because this call must be costing oh, shit. a fortune. Unless you remember to call <laughs> <laughs> That's I right, motherfucker. To do that. Yeah. 
I heard sometimes some of these places that one text message costs a dollar. Like when they were over, uh, I had some friends that went to like the Bermuda or someplace. Other divorce couples can't handle it, but we are handling it so well because we are better than them. Yeah, are you the best divorce. Feel, this feels I forced. Think we might... Oh my god, I love water. Me too. Uh -huh. I'm seventy percent water. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? Yeah, just water, no ice. <laughs> Bring it in a bowl. No, I am. I'm very. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I'll have the cops. Sell no wonder her. she divorced his ass. Why? You... Although. I do get Start lonely fighting. sometimes in that big house all by myself. Hey, you have time. Have American. We are from America. <laughs> I am from I'd be America. fucking with him. No, no Vietnamese, but I want a drink. Beer. Be sure to talk Blood really loud. That'll help them understand you. No. Don't they have phone apps now? That you drink. You know, say whatever it is. You know. So much for helping. Oh, yeah. Did you need help deciding whether or not this place is a shithole? Because help is on the way. Damn, it's dude. A shithole. I like well, at least he's honest. What I can afford, and it makes me feel it's good a to be on my own. <laughs> you, sad, you can always come. All you do is tell me how you really feel. That's a good this point. Smells weird. I want to go home. I don't tell you everything. You do. There's literally <laughs> nothing you have. Just because you have the couch of a girl in her twenties does not mean that you are young enough to say come with. Oh shit. <laughs> There. Damn, that's a little too honest. I love oh, it. Oh, wow. This is my life yeah, now. Yeah, it's a show. Can you work from home till then? I need that list to call on um, five yeah, and sure, power enrolls. Boy, they, uh, over 40. That would be they did the fucking uh, work from home thing before we did. Interesting. What was that? Oh, negotiations. Kill them motherfuckers. Kill them motherfuckers. I I've never liked the insect portion of this show. Okay, one more glass, Fuck that. and then I'm gonna head home. Why do you take the guest room? I can make some <laughs> stains on the carpet and string up some police tape. So he knows how to make a girl feel like home. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited to be on my own. I can do whatever I want. I can pick up in the middle of the night and go to Disney World. Yeah. Or Vietnam. By example. I'm in a really good place. Awesome. A really good place. That's the thing people don't understand about me. Yeah. You're not. You're not snorting the drywall yet. How good a place are you at? I'm working out a system, so I only drink a little each day. Mm. <laughs> it's my cheat day. I should have a cheat day. I guess the cheat day is a day I'm doing reactions. I was a mess, and then you left me in charge of things. And then yeah, that was kind of a mess. Knows wasn't. where? No, that time I ended up in New Mexico. Oh shit! So now he's gonna tell her after I said he wasn't gonna tell her. But um. <laughs> Yeah, Luckily, that's the ticket. It worked out all fine. No, yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a... Nope. Don't ask her shit. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is the most attractive angle they've ever used with her. The walk of shame. Went on a trip, and getting out of her routine allowed her to process things more I don't know, man. I think I just you just take like your problems with you. Very clearly. She thinks of herself as a director. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Do you talk about me in your sessions with other clients? Nobody oh, knows who honey. you are, and they don't give a shit. Can you help me? That would get annoyed really oh. fast. Hi. Come on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. She asked for to give you the piss because you... Th yeah. That's right. Straight piss. Drink it up. Would you want to go for a walk to the markets? Hell no. I feel totally lost out there. I could yeah, really get use a guy, local motherfucker. Help show me around. Not me. Huh? She's out of here. Quab and chai. Did he pay for the beers? And it's freeing to be this person he thinks you are. This person who isn't I guess I see where she's coming from. Or sad. You know, if somebody else sees you as something different, then that makes you feel different. I, I get that. Oh, no, 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 no. No bird wow. kissing. Birds are fucking nasty. I feel like we have a real connection. Dumbass. I want to show you something. Zip. <laughs> the executive grip. I basically run things here. A grip. It's so cool. Jesus. To see my job she went out with a grip and she kissed a grip. Have some respect. Jesus. No self respect whatsoever. What? I'm Busted. from LA. So what? You were just pretending this whole time? I was actually feeling something special here. <laughs> really? It didn't you got turned down by a disgusting ass bird. Get off my set. Your set? <laughs> nice <laughs> your try, set. buddy. You're I know the grip. grip does. At best, you're the <laughs> best boy. <laughs> and he's not the best boy. Why do you look so different? Do you like it? I guess at some point we're going to find out why she was crying, right? Fun me. Like, don't try to take advantage just because I'm all vulnerable right now. Jesus, Ew. lady. I'm just trying to give you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Were you? Yeah, were you? 
It's your neck. I didn't. Did you see that ice sculpture? <laughs> You're I a dumbass type. Definitely not going to lick it. Don't worry. Roll a rink later. Uh -huh. Hopefully there won't be any mob bosses there. Well, what am I saying? That's so random. <laughs> uh, I, I guess we're know. gonna get that Did story next the episode. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. There's a letter. I... Yeah, they haven't really done that since season one, where they they foreshadow a story, and then in the next episode they tell you they, they're kind of going back to their roots here, aren't they? Yeah. He's got a fucking really bowl full of nachos. Neck. Of <laughs> neck. Okay. Well. That's... Hey, don't go anywhere. Okay. I want to talk to you. Oh. Oh shit. I was Erica. What I can't pick sides in this divorce because I'm really good friends with the both of you. But I want you to yeah. know, no matter what, I'm as long as I'm talking to you, I'm on your side. Him. And if you when I'm talking to this people, I'm on his just side. Let me know and I'll be your rock as long as yep, it doesn't. I'm with you, winter time. Because you've got to leave to come back home. Um. Yeah, I guess I get what she said. Okay, maybe that's good because that means anything could happen. Oh my God, you're Laura Lindy. Oh, People shit. say that to me all the time, and it's true. I am Laura. God damn, she did the show. Like I was just hoping it was a name drop. I can't believe you did the show. A lot of it is just setting up the franchise. You know how it is. Yeah, that's the ticket. Um, it's an action movie. And just don't try to set up a cinematic universe. That doesn't go well, unless you're Marvel. It really doesn't go well. Oh, I was oh, going sorry. for do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we did this already. All the way. Oh, bye. Show us a flashback of why she was crying. Who isn't you? That was oh, probably shit. not the best way to say it. Yeah, that was a terrible way to say it. So as I was saying, being there for you right now is my time. Oh, wait, she oh, saw him up. at the party, Stewart. didn't she? There's a fire extinguisher She saw him fucking so by herself. Oh, or, that's yeah, just kiss her. That that's why she was crying. Um, oh my god, no. I accidentally see your soon-to-be ex-husband kiss No, me. not that fucking ugly ass dog. No, <laughs> man, that's the ugliest dog oh, breed there is. Thing, whatever. But then he puts his hand on the small of her oh, back shit. exactly the way he used. And when he did it to you, it made you feel safe. Oh. And you realize yeah, it's time to get the fuck out of this country. To you again. Sense of where to go or what to do. This so is good shit, Vietnam. man. You think you might The direction of this, especially this particular sequence is fucking excellent. They are still on top of the game. You learn that you can survive being alone. Yep. <laughs> they did the Vietnamese version. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what a great choice. God, the, these buffers are brilliant, man. Just the entire show is genius. I will say this. And I don't think people who've never been married understand this, really. Even if you're getting... And see, my divorce... All my breakups. I've only had three long-term relationships. In every case, I, would, I had a good relationship with him after the fact. It's just we didn't. It didn't work out. We parted in amicably, you know. So there was never nobody's cheating or anything. Nothing. No abuse or anything, where you just never want to see them again. But even so, even if you get divorced on good terms, and you want to be divorced and you want to get out of the relationship, you're going to mourn what you lost because you did lose something. And I think people don't understand. It's like, wow, that was... And, and see, in my case, I don't think I can empathize as much as maybe other people. Like, uh, you know, when you get get away from an abusive relationship, for instance. People are like, why are you sad? You got away from an asshole. Or somebody cheated on you. Why are you sad? You got away from a cheating asshole. You're still... Because you're sad because you're mourning something that you lost. You lost something. Like, when you got married to the person, you didn't know they were an asshole. You didn't think they were an asshole. Or you wouldn't have married them. So you're mourning that. You lost... What you thought you had that you never actually had, but you thought you had it. So you're mourning that. And I don't think people would really understand that. Like, and even myself, like with my mom, that she would mourn the relationships when she would leave an abuse pass. So I don't want to, I didn't understand it. But you, you have to wrap your mind around that to really be able to be a good friend to somebody who's going through that situation. They're mourning what they lost, even though they're glad they're out of the situation. Let them have that. Don't be like, well, you should be glad you're out of this situation. No, man, you're, you're a fucking dick. So, that's all I'm saying. And that's what she's going through. Even, like she said, even though she wanted this, she's still mourning what she lost. You know, so I totally understand where she's coming from. And that was a great character study. That was a that's one of my favorite dining episodes, if not my favorite dining episode. The one where she goes back to her family was hilarious. That was a great episode, even though I fucking hate her family. But this was this is probably my favorite. 